Hey love, so it's your girl April and I got a couple of requests to show how I cut my t-shirts. Um, I don't really do anything special, but I will tell you this, I'm not like a huge fan of any t-shirts that have collars. Uh, well, not any t-shirts, but I'm really particular. If it's a man's t-shirt, I really don't like the collars too much sometimes because depending on how tight it is, it just makes my neck really hot, so I try to avoid that as much as possible. Plus, sometimes I just want it to look a little bit more feminine, so that is the reason why I do have a lot of t-shirts that are basically off the shoulder some of them you will see that's ripped up on the sleeves or what have you but for this particular tutorial this is just going to be how I make my men's crew neck t-shirts into a feminine off the shoulder t-shirt um, you do want to make sure that you have like a flat surface. You want to make sure you have a good pair of scissors. So these are the scissors that I always use. You can get these basically from anywhere. I actually did get these from the Dollar Tree. And I do start off with cutting the collar, but I do go ahead into the collar and I kind of do it gradually. And I go right underneath the seam of the collar. So I went ahead and I just removed the collar. Now, if this is your first time of cutting your collar off, you want to make sure that it's going to fit properly. You don't want it to be too big to where your undergarments are showing, unless that's the look you're going for. So if you want to go ahead and try it on for the video, you can do so. So right now, as you can see, I went ahead and I removed the collar, but I really want it off the shoulder. So I kind of like look at it and I'll decide, okay, I want it right here. And always try to gather the shoulder seam, which is this portion right here. Kind of like hold those in between both of your hands and shake the shirt till it's flat. Right about here, because I do know that the shirt will stretch. And this time I'm going to take both the entire shirt in my hand. Now keep in mind the shirt is going to stretch. It doesn't have to be perfectly even because it is a t-shirt, meaning all the line here. What I do next is I just look at it and it does look like I have more on this side. So I'll just go ahead and trim a little excess away, the top layer, and try to make it as even as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect like I said. Then what I'll do next is I'll take the t-shirt and I'll pull at it. And this just gives it more or less like a rolled over look, it, which I'm kind of going for because you don't want it to look rough. Once you wash the t-shirt or you just stretch it out, the fabric becomes rolled, which is perfect. And now I have my perfect off the shoulder t-shirt. You can either wear it on either side. If you don't want to put on a nice little cami underneath, you don't have to, but this makes it just look a little bit more feminine, but it also allows my neck area to breathe. You can wear it, like I said, on either side, and it's not too big to where it's falling off and it's showing my clothes, or you can wear it either way. But that's how I make my cut-off t-shirt. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Super easy, something fun for you guys to do. If you want to make any masculine t-shirt look more feminine, you know, by all means, just cut the collars off. So leave your comments below. And if you want another tutorial on how I cut my t-shirts into other designs, then go ahead and thumb this video off.